Today we will analyze different ratios by its formula Bex and we'll know how to interpret this. Let's start with liquidity ratio. First one is current ratio. What do we understand by current ratio? Ratio analysis is used to determine the liquidity of a business. The result of this analysis can be used to decide whether to business. So you must look at the current ratio of a company before investing in it. The formula of current ratio is current asset divided by current liabilities. Let's see a uh, poll. They said that this is this is the these are the current ratios, calculated ratios of a company. So I have calculated four years current ratio and I've got it. So you, you see that the first year is 1.28% and the second year is 1.21%. Then the next year is 1.15% and the last year is 1.10%. So how are you going to interpret this? You said that the current ratio has decreased over the period. It means that the firm is losing enough resources to meet its short-term obligations. So why is have said that? You see that it started with 1.28 percent and ended in 2019 in at 1.10 percent. So you see that gradually it has decreased over the four years period. That's why I. Uh, said this it was 1.28 percent in 2016 which dropped to 1.10 percent in 2019 so the firm should reduce the personal draw in the business and look to see if any other loans can be reamortized why the company should do so because the company's current liabilities are increasing compared to its current assets so company should be focused on reducing its current liabilities and that's why they should uh, you know reduce all those things which are the reason behind uh, the increasing uh, current liabilities so we can assume that a uh, decreasing current ratio is uh, is bad for the company and an increasing current ratio is very good for the company Let's move on to quick ratio. In finance, the quick ratio, also known as the asset test ratio, is a type of liquidity ratio which measures the ability of a company to use its near cash or quick assets to ex extinguish or retain its current liabilities immediately. Let's see the formula. The formula is cash plus marketable securities plus accounts receivable divided by accounts payable let's see an example so this is the calculated quick ratio for year for four years of a company so how are you going to interpret this quick ratio of the firm has decreased from 2016 to 2019 as you can see that in 2016 it is 1.16 percent and 17 it has dropped in 18 it has also again dropped and in 19 2019 it has again dropped so it has maintained a trend right so at the last year it has dropped below one percent which means that the ability of the company to use its quick asset to extinguish or retire its current liabilities immediately is getting down that means that the company is not doing good. Let's move on to activity ratio. Inventory turnover ratio. The inventory turnover is a measure of the number of times inventory is sold or used in a time period such as a year. Formula is inventory turnover equal to sales divided by average inventory. Now, you need to know the formula of average inventory. The formula of average inventory is beginning inventory plus ending inventory divided by 2. Let's see an example. You see that I have calculated uh, 
inventory turnover ratio from 2016 to 2019. So depending on the ratio, you gonna interpret this like this way that inventory turnover ratio has fluctuated over the period. As you can see that in 2016, it was uh, 9.22 and 2017, it has dropped to 7.99 and in 2018 it has again uh, increased to 10.37 and the next year it has dropped to 9.78 so there is a fluctuation right if one year it has increased the next year it has decreased so and again the next year it has increased this means goods have been sold faster and there is less inventory in stock compared to sales in 2017 um, so uh, let's start from the second line in 2018 it, it has lost its peak and crossed 10 times look at 2018 it has crossed its peak so among the four years in 2018 it has got the highest ratio right this means that goods have been sold faster so uh, a higher inventory uh, turnover ratio means what we can understand from this line this means goods have been sold faster and there is less inventory in stock compared to sales in 2017 in 2017 it was 7.99 but in 2018 it is 10.37 so that means that in 2017 uh, inventories has been sold less um, and compared to 2018 but the ratio has slightly dropped in 2019 meaning that uh, in this year the company has faced weaker sales compared to the previous year so uh, if you look at the ratio of 2019 you you see that it has dropped from 2018 which was 10.37 and in 2019 it is 9.78 that means in this particular year i mean in 2019 the inventory has been sold less than the previous year which was 2018 so um today this is all about ratio i have uh, divided this ratio and uh, uh, license in uh, multiple pairs so i will uh, cover up other ratios in my next video uh, i'll cover up inventory um, i have covered up till inventory turnover ratio there are um, average collection period uh, then average payment periods total asset turnover and average asset of inventory these all are included uh, you know this all are fall under activity ratio and then again um, i'll cover up debt ratio of uh, and time interest earned ratio and i also cover up profitability ratio in my next video which is gross uh, you know the ratios that fall under profitability ratios are gross profit margin operating profit margin net profit margin earning per share roa and roe then i will cover up market ratio uh, and uh, you know price earning ratio and market or book book ratio these two ratios fall under market ratio so uh, i will explain everything in details with examples like i have done this today so you have to watch my next videos i have made uh, some parts uh, to uh, explain you these all these ratios so that it will it is very m not very much lengthy for you and it's very easier for you to understand uh, every ratios in details and you will understand that how how to uh, you know uh, how to find out and calculate these ratios and how to interpret this so thank you very much for staying with me and please do subscribe my channel for further updates.